This is REZ 2024-02. It's the Bird property located at 3715 and 3725 Bird Road. It is currently EA. The request is for R1, and this involves 7.5 acres and will also have well in septic. Mr. Dillon. Yes, sir. The request, as you noted, is for R1. Uh, you'll note those properties to the northeast being rezoned R1. Those were done back in 1996, which is almost a precursor to family ties, what is done today. But at that time, the rezoning was required, and the applicants had to go to SA Suburban Agricultural. And then again, you'll note the size of those lots being 1.86 to 3.86 acres um, is how they were ultimately divided. It is within the agricultural character area, which generally doesn't recommend R1 zoning. And there are a little bit of wetlands in the southwest corner of the property. The surveyor went out and surveyed um, 7.5 acres, which again go back to 1969. The survey is actually showing closer to 6.4 total acres. You'll note the two existing houses here on tracks one and two. They've been there since approximately 1971, more or less predating most of our zoning and setback conditions. Um, the applicant is noting 1.08 acres, and that is to reserve uh, potential right away for any future paving and expansion of Bird Road. Traffic indicates only about 45 vehicles per day along this road, but yeah, given potential future uh, paving projects in the area, the applicant did go ahead and reserve at least 0.08 before any potential right away. You notice here that he's showing approximately five total tracks that could be subdivided out uh, that meet the minimum R1 requirements. Tracks one and two being the primary concern to then separate those houses onto their own parcels. Tracks three, four, and five are just examples um, and would be potentially sold either as one acre lots or in some combination depending on what the market might bear. But again, you notice here that there's approximately 915 feet it's all the way to fourth tract. And if you look at the aerial on the right there, you'll notice how far those tracks are separated from the next nearest dwelling. 750 feet to at least the corner property of that next dwelling. And again, here's a view looking south, the approximations there drawn in red and blue. The house on track one is currently under renovations by the applicant. <clears throat> you also note the house on track two there. And again, you can see the separation and clearing. This is the house two. Uh, again, farthest one to the north. Slight state of disrepair. And again, the end of track four, where it abuts to the adjoining uh, nearest residential property at the moment. At 915 so feet. So again, this is just a conceptual lot layout. But TRC did have no technical objections to this, noting that the unique shape of the property would ultimately limit the overall development. And the planning commission recommended approval 8-0. Any questions for Mr. Dillon? Right, thank you, Mr. Dillon.